Barrington Bunny, adapted from Martin Bell's The Way of the Wolf. Exterior, Alaskan Boreal Forest, near the Arctic Circle, night. The sky glows with moonlight and an abundance of stars, while various animals, typical of a boreal forest, sleep or go about their normal nocturnal activities. Spruce grouse and ptarmigan flit from tree to tree. A moose nibbles a bit of hemlock. A black bear, wearing a nushenka, traditional Russian hat with military emblem, sleepily stumbles in and out of a cave. A Canada lynx slinks about in the branches of a large Douglas fir tree. Mother squirrel drags a French flag along the forest floor, which is carpeted in lichen. A cluster of stars swirl about in the sky, gradually forming the shape of a wolf, who magically descends from the sky and joins the other animals in the forest. His fur is sprinkled with stars that gradually disappear as his silver fur takes shape. A supernatural glow surrounds the wolf, and his eyes shine with an extraordinary brightness. Snow-covered trees surround a clearing next to a river with a beaver dam. As night morphs into morning, we hear the sound of a wolf howling as multiple animal species go about their daily routines, all wearing bits of costumes, carrying props suggestive of various origins of country. Squirrels are French, owls are standard British, beavers are American Southern jazz enthusiasts, mice are Persian, and the wolf is of East Indian origin. The bear is Russian. Exterior Forest Day As various animals in the forest watch, Barrington Bunny, a young snowshoe rabbit whose coat has only partially turned to winter white for camouflage, hops about in the snow, periodically admiring his tracks. One of his ears flops down. His voice is that of a young boy, and he speaks with a slightly Eskimo accent, enunciating his consonants with great strength. Occasionally, spit flies from his mouth when words end in K sounds. He hops, occasionally tries to straighten his ear, and rubs his fur. He nibbles bark from the birch trees. The bear lurks behind the trees, watching the bunny intently. Barrington discovers his reflection in a sheet of ice. Hello, brother. Remember last Christmas? Father warned us if we didn't stay right beside him, we would be lost and all alone. But here you are. All the other rabbits drowned when the bear caused the ice beneath us to crack. But I see you made it across the river too. Come on, let's gather food to celebrate Easter dinner together. Barrington joyfully hops down the trail. After a few minutes, he turns, expecting to find his fellow rabbit hopping behind him. When he discovers he is alone on the trail, he turns back, looking for his companion along the trail. Eventually, he returns to the sheet of ice and discovers the other bunny is only his reflection. Wait a minute. You are... So I'm the only rabbit in the forest. Tears roll down Barrington's face. Exterior, boreal forest, day. Various animals gaze unseen at Barrington as he hops along the trail. Bear is watching Barrington intently, but when Bear seems about to pounce, other animals deliberately distract the bear and stop him from harming Barrington. Exterior, beneath the squirrel's birch tree, day. On a tree branch, squirrels brush wrinkles from a French flag. Squirrels wear bits of high French fashion. A young squirrel hides behind the branches and periodically peers out at Barrington in a teasing manner until Mother Squirrel orders him back to work. Barrington stops hopping when he hears the squirrels chattering. Sacre bleu! Attention! Hello up there! Having an Easter party? Mother pushes the young squirrel toward the flag hanging from a branch. The young squirrel rubs wrinkles from the flag. Oh, mais oui! Il y a un bon holiday this weekend! Monsieur, everybody who's anybody is having une célébration grande! Une célébration? Oh, you mean a celebration! Can I come to your party? Est-ce que vous êtes un écuré? Excuse me? Are you a squirrel? No. Alors, quel êtes-vous? I don't understand what... What are you, monsieur? A bunny. A bunny. How do you expect to come to our party? Vous êtes un lapin. Ce n'est pas possible. Rabbits can't climb trees. That's true. But I can hop, and just like you, I'm very furry and warm. I don't know anything about hopping, but I do know. In order to come to our house, you simply must be able to climb trees. Oh well, happy Easter. The squirrels disappear into a hole in the tree trunk, slamming the door behind them. Exterior, boreal forest, day. Barrington hops away as snow begins to fall. He reaches the river and stops beside the beaver dam. He hears the sound of beavers singing. Interior, beaver dam, day. 
Beavers chuckle and slap their tails in a jazzy, rhythmic style. They wear sunglasses and play musical instruments. Exterior Beaver Dam. It's the beavers! Maybe they will let me come to their party. Barrington hops onto the dam and knocks. Hey, hey! Who that knocking on our door up there? Barrington! I'm a rabbit! I can't climb trees, but I can hop and I'm very furry. Barrington watches as four beavers open the door and waddle to the top of the dam. So, what's happening, bro? Can I join you for your Easter dinner? Now look here, boy. You can hop, and you's all cool and fuzzy. But if you can't swim, there ain't no taking your dinner down under less than you can swim, Jack Rabbit. All beavers nod and murmur in agreement. That right, bro. That's what I know. A hey, beast. Beavers exit back into their dam. Exterior, beaver dam, night. Barrington shivers and water flies from his wet paws. He then crosses back to the riverbank, shivering as he goes. The sun drops below the trees and moonlight casts shadows on the snow. Barrington yawns and hops more slowly. Snowfall increases. He eventually stops hopping and curls up to shelter his nose from the cold. Sound of wings flapping and owls murmuring, Hoo. Exterior, the owl's tree, night. A family of owls sits on branches above Barrington. They wear reading glasses which magnify their eyes and carry books. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I must be dreaming. Hoo, 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 hoo. Barrington rubs his eyes and lifts his drooping ear. He cocks his head. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Barrington, I'm Barrington Bunny. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Barrington, I said. I'm Barrington Bunny. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I told you, I'm Barrington. I can hop, and I'm warm and furry. I'm a baby rabbit. I'm called Barrington Bunny. Barrington squints, searching the snow-covered branches of the trees. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Barrington discovers a great gray owl sitting on a branch directly overhead. The owl wears a graduation gown and a mortar board and peers through glasses that magnify his eyes. The owl periodically ruffles his feathers in a very condescending manner. Owl Chorus sits on nearby branches paying rapt attention. Younger owls periodically adjust their glasses which slip down their beaks. I am perfectly aware that you are a rabbit lad. But who, who, who do you presume to be? Hopping about in the snow when the winter storm is fast approaching? Master Barrington, you, you, you should be snug in your den where the wind will not ruffle your fur. Snug is what I'd like to be, sir. But I'm so lonely. Can I join you to celebrate Easter? I presume you mean to say, may I join you for Easter? Young man, can should be used to inquire, am I able? Whilst may is used to determine if one has permission. May I join you for Easter? Is your notably inappropriate appeal intended to inquire, might you join my flock for supper on Sunday? Do your talents include the ability to fly? Who? 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 Exterior, forest trail, night. Barrington slinks away and tears roll down his face as the snowfall increases and his coat becomes ruffled by the wind. Eventually, Barrington sinks into the snow. Sound of mouse squeaking. Interior, mouse den beneath the snow, night. A group of mice push up against the drooping ceiling. Exterior, on the forest trail, night. It must be a party. Hello, field mice. I'm Barrington Bunny. I cannot climb trees, I cannot swim, and I cannot fly, but I am very furry and warm. May I please come to your party? Sound of wind blowing. Barrington tries to dig through the snow, but the surface is frozen solid. He then continues down the trail. Exterior, the forest, night. Barrington progresses down the trail, becoming colder and shivering more. Owls and eagles keep watch overhead, and periodically swoop down along the trail, sweeping away the snow ahead of Barrington. Finally, Barrington lies down in the snow and sobs. The wolf appears at the edge of a clearing beside the trail. Exterior, beside the trail, later that evening. The wolf stares at Barrington as the sound of wind abruptly dies down. The forest begins to sparkle with a supernatural light. Barrington shakes with fear when he spies the wolf. Barrington, why are you crying? Because tomorrow is Easter and I don't have any family to share it with. I'm of no value to anyone else in the forest. Bunnies aren't any good to anyone. Believe me, my son. You are gifted with snowshoe paws and a glorious coat to keep you warm in winter. 
These are gifts that bunnies are given. Free gifts, with no strings attached. But, my son, every gift is given for a reason. Someday, you will understand the reason for your particular abilities. But I'm all alone. I don't have any family at all. Of course you do. All the animals in the forest are your family. You have been surrounded this day by predators, but none has harmed you. Instead, they have loved you. Who but family would treat you as such? The wolf disappears from Barrington's view. Exterior, deeper in the forest, night. Spotting Bear lurking about, Wolf gives Bear a chase through the forest, eventually exhausting Bear outside his cave. Exhausted, Bear crawls into the cave and falls asleep. Exterior, forest clearing, night. All the, the animals in the forest are my family? It's good to be a bunny? Bunnies can hop! That's a gift! A free gift! Barrington strips bark from the birch trees and stamps messages onto the bark. He finds a stick and hops to the beaver dam. He leaves the stick just outside the door with a note that reads, Here is a good stick for your house. It is a gift. A free gift, no strings attached, from a member of your family. Barrington continues hopping through the forest. It's a good thing I can hop because this snow is so deep. Barrington gathers grass and leaves. He hops to the squirrel's tree and lays the grass and leaves just under the tree, attaching a message. A gift. A free gift from a member of your family. Barrington stamps out animal footprints in the snow. Sound of increasing wind. Heavy snowfall is blown by the wind. I'll stamp out a who's who in the forest for the owls, and then they won't keep asking who, 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 over and over again. He begins labeling the animal footprints. Well, if I don't find my way home pretty soon, even I might freeze. Barrington starts down the trail again. The trail becomes increasingly covered with snow. Barrington repeatedly backtracks. He shivers violently. He hops over to the edge of the trail and leans against a bank of snow, lifting one foot and then the other, folding his feet into his fur to warm them. That feels so much better. Now I'll just... Suddenly, Barrington disappears into the bank of snow. Interior, deep within the bear's cave, night. Barrington crawls out from a pile of snow. He picks himself up and brushes the snow off his fur. He hops to a large furry area of the cave. Oh, what a wonderful blanket of fur! This is so soft and warm, far warmer than my coat. I'll just warm myself and sleep until the blizzard is over. Barrington snuggles down into the fur and closes his eyes. Bear stirs in his sleep. Bear squints and shifts his weight. Barrington rolls off the bear onto the floor. <laughs> Barrington sniffs and his face recoils, disgusted by the terrible smell of Bear's breath. Ugh. The walls of the cave shake. Barrington scrambles away from the bear, but eventually gathers up his courage and addresses the bear. Please, sir, let me stay in the cave and join your warm fur. I'm Barrington Bunny. I have a warm coat myself, but it's no match for that blizzard outside. The bear watches Barrington, yawns and shrugs sound of mouse scratching and squeaking just outside the cave. Barrington lifts his ear and cocks his head. Oh, little mouse, don't cry. I'll be right there. Wait a minute, Barrington. You said your name is Barrington? You said yourself, your fur is no match for the blizzard. But that poor little mouse is freezing to death. He belongs in a burrow beneath the snow, but the snow is frozen solid. That baby mouse is my brother. Don't be a fool, comrade. You don't look like a mouse. You, you told me yourself you're a rabbit. You, you, you said Barrington Bonnie, right? But the wolf told me all the animals in the forest are my family. I was sad about being alone on Easter, and the wolf told me I'm never alone. He said all the animals in- If you're smart, you'll ignore that wolf and stay inside here until spring. I am powerful. The wolf and all the other animals fear me. We can use that fear to our advantage. You could be czar of the whole animal kingdom. Barrington looks at the bear, hopping back and forth to the entrance of the cave three times. Finally, Barrington exits the cave as a large chunk of ice drops and blocks the bear within the cave. Exterior, forest outside the bear den, night. I'm lost. I'll never find my way home. And I know I'm going to freeze. You won't freeze. I'm a bunny and bunnies are very furry and warm. Stay right here with me and I'll cover you up and protect you from the wind. 
there is much hope in hopelessness. For at the end of the dark night, there is light. That's what the Ayatollah said. Barrington lovingly snuggles up beside the baby mouse. The baby mouse happily burrows into Barrington's fur and disappears. As Barrington begins to murmur, snow falls, the sky darkens, and the earth begins to tremble. It's good to be a bunny. Bunnies are furry and warm. All the animals in the forest are my family. It's good to be a... Exterior, the forest, night. The carcass of Barrington lies in the snow, while a large group of mice scurry beside him excitedly. The baby mouse crawls out from beneath Barrington's body, and the mouse family leads the baby mouse back to their den. (coughs) Gradually, twelve animals of various species join the wolf, watching over the carcass of Barrington. Snow falls, the sky darkens, and stars begin to shine. The blizzard dies down and the sky clears. Exterior, the sky, night. A constellation of stars appears in the shape of a bunny with one ear flopping down. The animals gaze at the constellation and tears roll down from their eyes. As the animals return to their usual places, we discover a simple indentation in the snow where Barrington's body had been. Oh! 